Hi everybody, welcome to the Star Room. I'm Phil, and today we're going to read a very cool old story, Leo the Late Bloomer. And when we're done, we're going to work on a very hard matching paper. So come around here and let's read. The name or title of our book is Leo the Late Bloomer. When we're done, a big person's going to ask you the four questions. They'll ask you question number one, what is the name or title of the book? They'll ask you question number two, who are the characters inside the book? They'll ask you question number three, what happened? And they'll ask you question number four, did you like it? So let's start. The name or title of our book is Leo the Late Bloomer, and the book starts now. Oh, has anybody seen my glasses? Oh, yeah, they were right there on my shirt. Now let's get started. Leo the Late Boomer and the book starts now. Leo couldn't do anything right. He couldn't read. He couldn't write. He couldn't draw. He was a sloppy eater, and he never said a word. What's the matter with Leo? asked Leo's father. Nothing, said Leo's mother. Leo is just a late bloomer. Better late than never, thought Leo's father. Every day, Leo's father watched him for signs of blooming. And every night, Leo's father watched him for signs of blooming. Are you sure Leo's a bloomer? asked Leo's father. Patience, said Leo's mother. A watch bloomer doesn't bloom. So Leo's father watched television instead of Leo. The snows came. Leo's father wasn't watching, but Leo still wasn't blooming. The trees budded. Leo's father wasn't watching, but Leo still wasn't blooming. Then one day, in his own good time, Leo bloomed. He could read, he could write, he could draw, he ate neatly. He also spoke, and it wasn't just a word, it was a whole sentence, and that sentence was, I made it, the end. Oh, that was a great book about growing up. Now let's grab our cool paper. I sent it to you. You can put it on a clipboard like this, or you can do the big kid thing and hang it up on your refrigerator and work on it there. So come along with me. Here we go. Whoa. There we are. Now, remember, when you start, you're gonna put your name at the top because your kindergarten teacher will want that. So here's my name, P-H-I-L. Today we're gonna to do some matching with Leo because he was little, but then he got big. So let's start, hold your crayon or marker the right way. Remember, there's a video for that. And let's see, here's a mouth. Remember, Leo couldn't talk, so he was little. Now we're gonna find another picture that looks the same. It's over here. We're gonna connect them like this, zoop. Let's do the next one. Leo couldn't read. There's a book. Here's another book that's the same. Let's connect them. Zoop. Leo couldn't write or draw. Oh, there's a crayon. And there's the other crayon. Let's connect them with a line. Zoop. And Leo was a messy eater. Look, here's a spoon. And here's another spoon, a big spoon, because he got big. Zoop. And last, when the book started, Leo was little, 
but in the end, he was bigger, just like you all are. So let's connect those two. Zoop. When you're done, make sure you hang it up because everybody will want to see it. Come on back next time for more videos, and we'll see you next time in the Star Room.